Trump administration officials say the zero-tolerance policy, which was not practiced by the two previous administrations, is necessary to secure the border and deter illegal immigration. Trump has sought to use the widespread outrage over the family separations to push through other immigration priorities that have stalled in Congress, such as funding for his long-promised wall along the Mexican border. He has consistently blamed Democrats for the impasse, even though his fellow Republicans control both chambers in Congress. It is the Democrats, sick, fault for being weak and ineffective with border, sick, security and crime, he tweeted on Monday. Democrats have accused the president of using children as hostages in the political dispute over immigration. In Geneva, the top UN human rights official called on the Trump administration on Monday to halt its unconscionable policy of forcibly separating children from migrant parents irregularly entering the country via Mexico. Bills in Congress Trump was due to meet with Republicans in the House of Representatives on Tuesday as they prepared to vote on two immigration bills. One would possibly end the separation policy, fund the border wall and give legal protections to some immigrants who entered the country as children. Details were still in flux. The bill faces strong headwinds as it is opposed by Democrats, who object to another provision that would cut legal immigration levels, and conservative Republicans who are backing a rival bill that takes a harder line on immigration. Trump's tweet about Germany referred to a political dispute over German Chancellor Angela Merkel's open-door migrant policy that is threatening her governing coalition. More than 1.6 million migrants, mostly Muslims fleeing wars in the Middle East, have arrived in Germany since 2014. Contrary to Trump's assertion, the crime rate in Germany is at its lowest point in more than 30 years, according to figures reported by the country's internal ministry last month. Illustrating the wide concern in the United States over the family separations, Laura Bush, married to the last Republican president before Trump, took the highly unusual step of publishing a Father's Day op-ed in the Washington Post on Sunday. She wrote, This zero-tolerance policy is cruel. It is immoral. And it breaks my heart.